not yet. It's too late. I'm not. I said not yet. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> now you can get it. <laughs> See, this is tight. We here. It's hot looking. Girl, walk. What are we doing here? <laughs> Putting on my lip off. Can we get this or that? That one. Cool. Should we like it with this or should we get with that? Or should we get with this or should we get with that? You drawing. Or should we get with this or should we get with that? Or should we get with this? That one. Because this is a little sad. <laughs> So we're about to head over to the grooming section. We want to make sure we go to what the guys are going to need to be well groomed, feeling good. I'm going to tell you what not to use as well because that's way more important than anything else. I got some facial cleansers. My cousin did tell me about this foaming cleanser right here. She told me that she really like it. I feel like I should pick some up. Just going in the basket. I need back the hell up. <laughs> uh, <please. laughs> Actually, no, no, no. Cause all the YouTube vlogs, they be. They be. Uh, yeah, right what here. What about? You. Don't need to do That's the music too, right here. Yeah. Let's look at some shampoos. Come on, guys. Is it on? Are we running? Because yeah, it looks running, like we were running. Definitely running. Okay. Right here. This is what I'm talking about. No, no. Don't come over here looking at no head and shoulders talking about this is where it's at. Because it's not where it's at. I don't care which one. Don't pick none of them. And then I got some of you okay. guys. Huh? I got them on out. So you tell me. <laughs> yeah, you got to throw yours out. Throw it out. Right. <laughs> um, we're going to say no to this too. Okay. What I found with this company um, for my own son purposes, I don't know if it's just because he's young or what, but I've heard other men tell me that sometimes this is too strong. This is way too strong. So you want to get something else. This, this is a little bit too much. Um, so if you have boys, this is really good for young boys. I wouldn't I wouldn't go with this one. I say no. Um I'm just saying no to none of this. Ozzy's, all this stuff. Why am I saying no? Because these products have high alcohol levels in them. And that's gonna dry your scalp out, dry your hair out, and that's why a lot of y'all having the problems. Look, I know y'all be liking this pantene. This is the color shine. Um, curl perfection, volume and body, whatever. I, it's a no. It's a no. It smells so good. I'm gonna let you smell some. Smell it. Smell good. Yeah, it do. Smell clean. Eh. Too many perfumes. Okay, so that's it for the shampoo. If you're wondering why haven't you told me which ones to use, I'm gonna tell you, but it's just it's just not here. So now I wanna tell you about something else. Wear sunscreen. Sunscreen is so important. If you're wondering why your face is dry, cracking different things, sunscreen is amazing. Look, this sunscreen right here is um, here at Target for $11.99. I think you, or maybe even $10.99. I don't know which one this is. This is eight floor out. This one's say 1.7 floor ounce. Yep, this one's 
and this is for your face i like this i've been using it lately and i love it love it but make sure you use some spf you could also use it on your bald head if you have a bald head you want to make sure you put a little something on there okay. matter of fact i'm gonna get one of these so i can use it at the shop <laughs> now we're gonna move into the body washes now i'm so excited about this subject because what is this is a body wash. This is lotion. <laughs> See, you about to talk shit. But look, so a great lotion for me, people who have eczema, um, if you're having dry skin, this is a great lotion. You want to use the uh, Vino. This really worked for me. I had some really bad eczema going on. I used the Vino, and as you can see, it's cleared up. It was all on my hands. I get blisters and all type of stuff, horrible burns. This is what you need to use. I really like it. And I also use the eczema therapy. This is my stuff right here. But any of their products, I would say thumbs up to a Vino. Also, I do like the uh, Eucerin and Aquaphor. Those are really good as well. Um, definitely the heavy advanced one. Definitely is cool. The calm, skin calming. A Vino. Aquaphor, Eucerin, you can't go wrong there. CeraVe, eh, ha, ha, ha. It's been a little, I, I don't know how to use it. Men and women, this is good. This is a skincare thing. This doesn't have nothing to do with gender. This has to do with what's going on with your skin. So make sure that you pick this up if you're having dry skin, eczema, those type of things. If you want the Eucerin, the Aquaphor, the Aveeno, that's going to help you out. And then... And then listen, this is just my favorite. I love me some good Jergens. Baby, the cherry scent, the ultra healing. I just like it. But I don't really do the Vaseline. Well, yes, I do. I'm sorry. I'm lying. I do like Vaseline. For some reason, this is the only thing that works for my son's skin. He has eczema. And for some reason, I've tried everything. This is the only thing that works. Hey, guys, listen, if you never heard of such a thing, they have a in-shower body lotion. Yes. Mm. Men, you can try that too because y'all be crusty, rusty, busty, and we don't like that. We want you to be nice and soft for us to lay on. You know, we're soft. We want somebody soft to be laid up with. So make sure you try some shower lotion. This is the cocoa butter one. You can find it here. It's only $6.59. Look, if you can't invest in yourself, she ain't going to want to have nothing to do with you. I'm telling you. So now we're gonna go to the soap and body wash. Guys, let's see what we got here. Don't mind us, it's here. So I haven't got a chance to hear any reviews about this Cremo, but I definitely wanna smell it because I wanna see what they what they talking about. This is the sage and citrus. It's kind of, it's kind of clean. It smells kind of clean. I look at the ingredients. Is it kind of clean? <laughs> it's kind of clean. <laughs> okay, it's clean. Huh. It's, it's fresh. It's fresh. It's fresh. Let's see. Silver water and birch. Yeah. I had it a little bit. How are I could have caught it here in the phone. I could have caught it. Oh, Paul Santo. Okay. This is Paul Santo. Oh my God. I have to smell this one. Now, this smells good. Oh, I love me a, a Paul Santo. Palo Santo. Palo Santo. Now, they know they overpacked this. Now, ain't that about. All right, that's now you, ridiculous. You forget. You, you forget it's kicked out. I know. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I believe it. That That is overpacked. That's all good. I'm telling you, no fit there. Put, put it right there. Right they won't hate us for this. They, ooh, this Pacific sea salt and grapefruit. Look, I don't know if this worked though. I'm just telling you how it smells. But let's talk about what I know work now. I love the native brand. This native brand is amazing. It's amazing. It's the coconut milk and turmeric. 
that I'm looking at. That looks good. The eucalyptus mint. You got sea salt and cedar. You got citrus and herbal musk. Listen, the men's line, I don't, I use the women's line. But my son used the native deodorant and we love it. We use native all in our house. Like, you have to try it. And if your lady wants some, you can get her some for the in the women's section. The Old Spice, though, like, remember what I told y'all? That stuff is way too harsh. My brother said they can't use it. My son said he can't use it. And they're grown. My brothers are grown. My son is a kid. It's a no for me. Again, stay away. <laughs> Just stay away, in my opinion. Hey, Dove, thumbs up. Dove is always a good one. That's a go-to, you know? That's a staple. It's definitely a staple. I thought that we were going to have some raw over here, but raw sugar, but I'm not seeing it. So we're gonna have to go on the other side. And I'll tell y'all which smell good in general, not just for women. Okay. All right. Okay, here's the native deodorant that I was telling you guys about. My son, this is the one that he uses and I really do like it. They do have other um, scents like honey and white oak, juniper and ginseng. I feel like with when choosing your deodorant, you want to choose the one that goes best with your pheromones and your body. So when you start heating up, you might not want to be, like, if you have a strong smell, you might not want to be too sweet or too light. You might want something nice and strong that can combat that, you know, that sweat. So, yeah, I, I love their brand, though. You should try it out. These are natural deodorants. It's really good. It helps you not to develop cancer and all types of different things. But Old Spice, no. Now, if you see, this is the woman's aisle. It has all of the great stuff in it. See, that's why I'm trying to, you know, fight for y'all because y'all should have all these lovely options that we have. But y'all only got a minimal amount of options. And I hate this because when I'm going shopping for my son, it's really annoying. So, but. The good thing is, in this aisle, you do have sensitive skin. I do use that with my son. That's great. The deep moisture, that's good. You know, that type of stuff. That's that's for anybody. You know, that's for anybody. Um, okay. Now. Now, this is good for anybody, too. It is a little bit on the softer side, but this is my one of my favorite brands. Um, along with native as you see this is the uh, other native um, but then also I think this will be great as a unisex the cold pressed lemon sugar yes oh oh that smell like lemonade so that's gonna that citrus smell is really gonna get you nice and fresh smelling and ladies love a fresh man also guys don't be too afraid to exfoliate definitely need to be exfoliating that's going to help your skin not be crusty okay we need you to be soft too we don't gotta be soft on the inside just let your skin feel real nice and lovely so we can lay on it and feel all loved on <laughs> buy some and i'm gonna so i'm gonna buy some of these men's grooming products and I'm going to use them on my clients and I'm going to let you know how they like them. So I'm going to choose which one. I see they have the Scotch Porter here and I want to, I really want to try it out. A lot of people said they didn't like certain things about Scotch Porter. So I, I want to see, let, let's, let's look. So they do have an exfoliating, huh? You hear that? I don't know what this is. Okay, so this exfoliating beard in face wash. Yeah, I, I wanna see what this is about. It's $10, so that's that's pretty reasonable, I guess. Then you have the regular wash. This sounds like liquid. This sounds like a salt and pepper shaker. This sounds like liquid. So I'm very curious on seeing what this does. I know my clients will be like, what the heck? I'm curious too, I ain't <laughs> What the heck? So they have the beard conditioner. And I'm assuming this is not a leave-in conditioner because it just say conditioner. So let's see, do they have any leave-in conditioner? I don't, I don't really see any. Beard and hair conditioner spray, huh? Well, I don't see a leave-in conditioner with them, but I do see that they have a beard balm and they have a serum. Uh-oh, 
We can't get that one now. All right, now they messing up y'all brain. Y'all better talk to somebody about something. Okay, yeah. So we're going to try this out and see how the clients like it. I'm very curious. And then the thing about it is, I like that it does come in like a little squeeze bottle. Um, that's something I'm curious about. You don't have to scoop it out with your hands. Let's smell it. Let's take a little smell before I buy it. Because what if I don't like the smell? Then I'm be pissed. I can't really smell. I think they have a little thing on it. I'm be hungry now. Smell it. It's cool. Smell cool. Okay, I'm gonna get it. All right. Ah. Uh, I don't know what this is. How to use this? Okay, what does it say? The read instruction set. One, dispense a dime-sized amount of dry powder into the palm of your hand, a small amount of water, add rubbing to <coughs> add rubbing hands together to form a creamy paste. For fuller, more coarse beards, add more water to work into a thinner wash to evenly distribute throughout the that. beard. Okay, all right, we're definitely trying this. We're gonna get these things, and I'm gonna let you know how much, I mean, how I like it. I'm looking at the price. <laughs> so we're looking at something that's ten dollars, um, eleven ninety nine. So twelve dollars. So what is that? Twenty two dollars plus another um, twelve dollars. What is that? Thirty four dollars and fifteen seventy nine. Okay, so we're gonna be under a hundred dollars for sure with these products. So I think that will be considered a reasonable amount because. The serum is a little bit expensive. It is $20, but I know oils can be expensive. So we're going to try these out, and I'm going to get back to you and let you know how I like it. I got my goodies in here. I cannot wait to get to the shop tomorrow and try them out on the clients. I am gonna let them know before I use it that, hey, I'm trying out something different. Let me know how you like it and give me feedback. So I'll let you guys know, but stay tuned. I can't wait to help you out on this beard series so that you can know what to purchase and what not to purchase. I'll see you soon.